Good morning everybody, welcome to this video. This is Owen Fox here, here in Ireland. And today I felt inspired to make a video and share my thoughts on why peace is more, much more important than happiness. And the difference and the distinguishment between them and how people get confused and lost and trying to be happy. But they lose and don't understand that they don't have their proper deep inner peace. And what I want to say is, if you have your peace, you will be happy. But if you try to go for happiness alone, you can miss your peace. And this happens to so many people. I see this in my life. I see this in people who I see. So, we're coming out of a bit of a dark age, so to speak. And now in this new age, a lot of the new spiritual teachings are about being happy. And I advocate being happy, of course. But I only, I only say go for the happiness if you're truly grounded in peace and authenticity. Like many of you may know a lovely lady called Teal Swan, she talks about authenticity. She's like a teacher. Um, and authenticity, being truly yourself. What I've learned in the last, from my partner Sally and living in the house where I live in now and one of the people there, they've helped Borna and my lovely partner here, Sally. They've helped teach me to be fully, 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 fully accepting and embracing and allowing your emotions and that's what that's what I'd probably like to say is my main message at this moment my main thing I'd like to share with other people and that is to fully allow your humanity fully accept yourself and that if you if you if you are trying to live in a facade a covering a false fake coating of trying to be somebody that you're not or not to have these emotions that you do you're suffering and you won't have that inner peace so the only way to have inner peace is to have full unconditional soft loving acceptance on yourself or other person that's the secret to relationships soft get in a place before you take action get in a place where you feel softness love sensitivity, care and compassion in your heart towards somebody. And that is the secret to relationships. That's the answer. That's the golden key. I swear to God, replay that or don't, I'll just say it again. The key to having positive relationships, inner peace and inner emotional freedom. When faced with any difficult or challenging person who's annoyed or argumentative or accusing you of wrong stuff, is to remain conscious and centered and sort of calm and composed by and with having a softness in your heart for them making massive mistakes and being unconscious and uncentered to themselves have compassion gentleness of spirit towards them have peace in your mind and heart because they're messing up and when people mess up, and we all make mistakes, you can eat, they're being punished already by, by themselves. You can punish them more, which is the sad thing that happens in unconscious conflicts with people and arguments. Or you cannot. You can understand, have loving, gentle, tender spirit, compassion, and accept them the way they are at this instant or the past gone by. And you can either take action or say something lovely or soft, non-invasive, non non-conflicting, or not. So, what I've learned coming back to emotions is we need to fully accept our humanhood. And every spiritual teacher that's human has emotions. Muji, Eckhart Tolle, Teal Swan, Byron Katie, Wayne Dyer, Deepak Chopra, Peace Pilgrim, my, my heart hero inspiration, biggest inspiration in life, crazy. I love that woman so much. Ah, they all have emotions and a lot of the spiritual teachings have tried to almost tell us to be something other than human. As if we're supposed to be, oh I'm so happy and smiling, I'm spiritual, I have crystals and it's so, so good, life is so good. 
And while it's good to like feel appreciative, enjoy and grateful for life, and today I was up in my back garden, up a tree, I was like doing my half an hour workout, flexibility exercises and stretching, weights, climbing, deep breathing and weightlifting with a rock and stuff, and bodyweight exercises and handstands, but I was up a tree, I said a prayer. And I said, and this is like such a powerful prayer, I've never said it. But I was in the zone, and when you're in the zone, mentally, emotionally, physically, that's when the inspiration comes. I said a prayer, something like, thank you, thank you God, thank you Gaia, thank you universe, thank you this cosmos, this cosmic world that we live in. Thank you for all of the, pe the people gone by in my life, thank you for the people coming and going, thank you for the people who have hurt me. Thank you for the losses that I've had. Thank you that I've lost my health that I, in the past. <sighs> Thank you for the hard things that have happened to me. The losses and the suffering, etc, etc. Thank you for losing this and for losing that. For that hard relationship, that challenging time. I, I, I... I honoured, I accepted and I embraced the hard times in life and made peace. I already had basically peace but I made deeper peace and recognition because who I became, who I have become is because of what has happened to me and how I have learned and how it has expanded me and this is the same with you and everybody who has been in the position to wake up, learn, grow expand. It's called full making peace with your past and I felt so free emotionally. But getting back on track with this video, you know if you feel anger, I've learned it's absolutely okay and perfect to say I feel angry and affect this, I feel like punching them in the stomach, that's what my friend says a lot, but there's no projection as well on the other person, he's not saying, he might say, you make me sick, <laughs> like to, to, not to them really, but to himself, but all he's doing is expressing the anger, and I know anger is fine, everyone has anger, I get annoyed, irritated, frustrated, pissed off from time to time, even probably maybe even every day and that's okay the thing is to be conscious and to fully accept yourself without judging no judgment just having judge non-judgment and acceptance and non-resistance and what usually people do especially the spiritual people or even anyone they shame themselves for feeling a certain way they think they shouldn't they judge themselves and label themselves they suppress themselves, they repress themselves, and once you suppress it, you bottle it up, and then it explodes, or you become desperate, you can't cope anymore, and you hit drink, drugs, or other harmful, out of balance, addictive habits and behaviors. So this is what born on my, um, my, my, who's my friend and my partner Sally, they just express their emotions. They're like, they're like a child, no shame whatsoever. But, the secret is, as I said, don't take it out destructively in others, but just express it yourselves or share with others how you feel. I feel this way and I want to kill them. I hate my job. Whatever you want to say, I'm sick and tired of this. You're allowed your emotions. You're allowed to be human. And all these other spiritual teachers or teachers or book writers, me, I've written a book. It doesn't matter what you think they're like. Adi Ashanti, Muji, Gankaji, Papaji. Uh, they were all human and if they ever tried to pretend that they, 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 they weren't and that they were perfect they're spreading a disempowering message that makes you shame and suppress and then you don't relate honestly to other people you're not authentic the secret is authenticity not to be hiding or avoiding yourself so you want to, you can only move past an emotion once you've allowed it to move through you and that's when it doesn't linger or stick to you, energetically speaking. 
it's, it's you're allowed to flow so things quickly come and go but they go and they go relatively quickly because in the absence of resistance and the absence of self-judgment with full acceptance and full making peace with yourself and accepting yourself fully that's where you have emotional freedom they say the emotion may feel a certain way physically in the body like anger, sadness, frustration, irritation hatred, resentment, whatever but when you resist it you're adding what some people call suffering it's another layer a deeper, harder, tougher layer but when you accept love make peace with the emotion and the physical sensation that's when you have the deeper softness and freedom underneath it can still feel really bad to have this emotion but you don't fully resent it or hate it as much you've made peace more and as I said combine it with being conscious so you don't destructively express but in, if you feel like expressing you're careful and conscious it's, and it's non-destructive on yourself or other people especially well especially yourself or on the, and other people this is where punching pillows yelling in a pillow or screaming in a pillow or cursing to yourself or if you're out walking that comes in handy and you have careful speech with somebody instead of blaming projecting attacking judging criticizing and putting it all on them which is called projecting it's like the blaming is all your fault I'm just an innocent poor little victim that's the very disempowered old state so it's stepping up to the plate and taking responsibility but also saying what you don't like or what you would like and being clear about that but in a non-aggressive non-intrusive way ideally generally speaking so the way to have emotional freedom with other people is to feel that fuzzy soft cozy tenderness of spirit and sensitivity of heart within your within your heart that's how to have emotional freedom with people for example if someone says you're this way you do that you do this usually we get very annoyed and we get triggered and that's okay and it's good to feel that and even ask ourselves where did, where did when did I first feel this way because that's what it can be triggered from childhood it was when I was my like I had an emotion, for example, of being like sad, lonely, insecure, unsafe and rejected. And I, I asked, when did I first feel this? And I think I felt something like this when, when I was small and I was crying extensively. Maybe, maybe hysterically or else just pure those emotions. Because my mum and my dad had locked me outside of the room, the living room, because I was bold. And I felt awful. And so it's good to trace back when we first have an emotion and then to re fully feel it because we haven't integrated it usually at that time. We're too young. There's a pigeon. So I want to say that inner peace is more important than happiness. Happiness isn't about all smiling. This reminds me of a guy called Eckhart Tolle and Thich Nhat Hanh, a Vietnamese Buddhist monk who's written many, many books about mindfulness and breathing and mindfulness. He must be one of the happiest people in the world, same with Eckhart Tolle. But neither of them are all like giggling and laughing hysterically. But I know people in my life who think it's all, ah, ha, ha, happy day, great, yeah, love. Ah, yeah. But I know underneath, there's a pressure, there's a tension, there's a stress, there's an unhappiness, there's a there's some repressed and suppressed energy that they're avoiding because they think it's unspiritual and if they knew and practiced what I'm sharing with you in this video they could have freedom and let go of that <clears throat> peace feels better than happiness because when you have peace, you're smiling big on the inside. And at the right time, in a real, organic, authentic, genuine, in the flow way, you may smile and laugh and have fun and play on the outside. 
but you're smiling on the inside and you you have an ocean of calmness a, a peaceful tranquility when you feel peace and you're fully accepting and loving and embracing all parts of yourself all parts doesn't matter what you want or like or hate or scorn in life whatever you love the most or hate the most however good you feel or however bad you feel whatever you want to do to somebody or something or not do you fully 100% accept yourself love yourself just the way you are and when you can do this for yourself that's when you can do this to others and you don't judge them then and you take powered more and more because it's a practice and it's a learning thing you take more and more empowered conscious careful positive constructive healing action not divisive aggressive argumentative quarrelsome blaming separative hurtful destructive critical action on another person it's about understanding them and their flaws and mistakes imperfections and I use these words pretty lightly because we're all the same on this none of us know everything and we all go through life making mistakes and that's good that's fine but ideally we want to learn from them so we all F up you know fuck up because it's okay to curse by the way I don't mean it in any bad way of course it's just for explaining things we all fuck up we all fumble around we all we all fumble and mess things up let's be honest let's be human let's be real we all make mistakes we all annoy each other <laughs> or at least we all annoy, get annoyed by each other <laughs> And when people make all these mistakes, and we do too, do you want someone to punish you for it? That's so sad. That like hurts my heart, you know what I mean? We're like children. We're making mistakes. We're fumbling around in the dark. We don't know everything. We don't know loads of stuff. And then when someone else doesn't know stuff, you go and punish them. That's sad. And it's, it's not to judge yourself, because we all do it, and we all have done it. It's just about being aware of it now. Being conscious in the moment and being aware. That's like greatly important. They, those two words will save your life. And the heart. You want that fuzzy feeling like you would towards your child. That's the inner freedom. When you love someone and accept them unconditionally and really care for them. And want to help them instead of fight with them. That's when you have the freedom. That's when you're free from suffering. Like... Like I could almost like, just like feel like crying and like I'm crying on the inside with my feeling for these for people. <sighs> Such a beautiful day, isn't it? I just felt so inspired to make this video because this is a huge thing in society. Uh, it's far-reaching. It's deep-reaching into every relationship. It's a dog. Hello. <laughs> so, I wanted to make the video to help anyone who want who watches, help you, and I hope it's been of help. And I hope my intention is that you'll be able to feel more peace you'll be more authentic and know you're entitled to and have the right to um, feel bad, feel angry, feel upset, want certain things, don't want certain things, to be you fully 100% in all of your good and your bad, your flaw and your perfection. <laughs> And you can go about life then in a peaceful freedom. Much more. So, send peace to that dog. It's a nice dog. It did make me feel a bit jittery. A little bit tense or stressed to a, to a degree. 
<laughs> and that's okay. So I'm just practicing and expressing what I'm sharing in this video. Someone else might say, well, I'm too spiritual. Just the dog's okay. Shouldn't get annoyed. It's just, you know. Yeah, so it's about um, accepting and honoring it when you do get annoyed. It's knowing how you feel at any moment and being okay, but also being aware and conscious and tuning into your heart if it's with people or if it's not with people. It's just about accepting, being conscious, being aware and embracing fully your humanity in every single way and not stuffing down anything or repressing and fully feeling it in our body, fully, fully, fully feeling it. But then also have a, a more, combined with a more empowered, um, conscious and truthfully positive, more empowered outlook. And in another, I made a post on Facebook today or yesterday saying that like positivity is nothing about avoidance or suppression. Rather, if, you, if people, some people don't like calling it positive thinking, just call it empowered thinking because positive thinking isn't about glossing over the truth of how you feel, oh, you know. It's about truthful honoring, but also empowered thinking is like, I can do this. I can take care of this. I can manage this. The truthful, I'd call it perspective thinking, seeing things truthfully and honestly in perspective with clear eyes. Clear thinking is another way I like to call it. So instead of being all like gloomy and negative and disempowered, you see things with perspective clearly and with the, eye, the eyes of source or the eyes of love, the eyes of truthfulness and perspective. <laughs> A lot of birds around here doing their thing. Um, so you combine this guys, so I hope this video helps S sending you love from my sincere heart to you and I hope this helps and lots of love to you, sending you love and for anyone who's interested, I do one to one, I used to call it coaching, I used to call it life coaching, I think I really prefer deep down in my heart clarity coaching or clarity empowerment coaching. Some, some, I used to use the word mentoring sometimes for anyone who wants like more one-to-one -one ongoing like sort of help like mentorship but I do not want to disempower anyone as if like I'm above anyone but we all have studied things at different lengths and we can all learn from each other you know like lovely triangle so for anyone wanting some help guidance coach, coaching counseling support have a look at my website um, owenfox.org below look at my links below and for anyone who would like relationship counselling or group counselling with myself and my partner Sally working together and she's very intuitive and has great psychic, natural psychic and mediumship abilities. Um, so for anyone who wants to look at her website have a look below um, in the link in my description box or contact us on my website also owenfox.org you'll see more information on relationship counselling. For anyone who's been sick or injured or lost the life that they knew like I did and sad and you get physically sick, stressing. Or for anyone who wants help with like mental, emotional, um, physical issues or to have greater enhancement, do check out my website hireselfherbs.com which again you'll see in the description box and you'll see a section herbs for specific conditions and lots of other really, really cool things. Until I see you next time, stay well, stay healthy, stay happy, and stay conscious and empowered. Get out in nature, love the animals, <laughs> and move your body. Bye everyone, lots of love. See you now.